Hey gang, your friendly neighborhood Zippo. You guys have seen the Joby uh, tripod that I use with the magnetic feet and crazy legs. And uh, where'd I go? Oh, I went to Goodwill. What did I find at Goodwill? Just a couple things, but one of the things I found was this little thing called a flip. And came with a bunch of different colored feet. But uh, it's another crazy like did not have magnetic feet. So I took and put some neodymium magnets up in there. So now I've got two with magnetic feet. Um, and this video is not exactly about the GoPros, but at the same time it is. Um, this older Hero 3, sorry, this older Hero 3 runs the battery out a whole lot quicker than the Session does. And that's been an issue. I'll get out there and you guys, you know, may or may not have heard me say, ah, low battery and hope that I get through the video. Well, I uh, went to my grocery shopping today and they're revamping the entire electronics area and found a uh, pretty nifty little uh, doodad on clearance and just had to get it. And that's it right there. It's a Vivitar pistol grip battery. And I don't remember how many amps it has. Power grip, item number VIVA PM7582. Take a look at the milliamp hour that it has. I don't remember. See, and it was supposed to come with a micro USB cable for charging power grip, and it did, but it's only got to go from here to here. And they gave me this five mile long thing. That's no good. Anyway. Let's see here if it says what the uh, battery capacity is. Battery capacity, battery capacity. Well, I don't remember. But at any rate, uh, short story long, this little guy, I just plug in a short cord in, from this into the camera, and I've got a lot of extra battery power, so I don't have to worry about this one running out of battery, or this one. But another nice thing about it is I can put it on any of these. Uh, these are a little bit too lightweight for me to use them on, but it's still got the quarter inch amputee threads there. And also, I, I put this uh, GoPro attachment on, but right there. So I can put it on my uh, regular tripod and make sure, and it'll just keep me from running out of battery. But 10 bucks, you know, what the heck? May as well, right? So, I'm still charging it, so let's get her plugged back in here, finish charging it up. It's got a uh, little LED indicators there, it even lights up the USB port, which is kind of cool. But, uh, and what else did I get while I was there? A grocery shopping, I wind up getting electronics. Um, I've had this uh, LED mag light, it's the one that I use to call in the dog uh, down in the kitchen when I let him out and it's been in the drawer for a couple three years and it is a two C cell mag light and I put a strike point cap on it for glass breaker but it's just your basic run of the mill uh, that I put the LED bulb in they do have LED mag lights like right here underneath my desk this is an actual uh, mag LED it's a mini mag light Oops, mini mag light LED Pro and it's pretty dang bright, I mean pretty dang bright and I, you guys have seen if you've been around for a while you have seen my uh, I was getting ready to say commercials, not commercials you idiot, my videos showing um, my flashlight collection and all that, I mean I collect all kinds of crazy crap but my flashlight collection and I'm, I'm, I really dig mag lights uh, in fact uh, Maglite has actually sent me flashlights um, just because they love me. <laughs> I've got flashlights that I've had from the 1980s from Maglite. In fact, my first AA Mini uh, was, two AA Mini, was uh, blue anodized. And I've still got it. Just nuts. And I used to be so, I, the bulbs used to go out all the time, and now you can convert them over to LED and everything is good with life. But, again, that is a 2C, okay? 
two C cells in there. They have really, really, really compacted their two C cell lights. I don't know how well you can see that. Look how much shorter that thing is. So Zippo got him a new 2C. And uh, uh, there's no clicky switch. Yeah, got, the, got the clicky switch. Well, no clicky switch. Anywhere. This one works just like the AA and AAAs. It's a twisty. Bow, bow, bow. 177 lumens. They're calling it ultra bright. We know that's not ultra bright in the flashlight world. I've got one, uh, my Thor, excuse me, my Nightcore Thor that sits over uh, on my nightstand is 900 lumens max power. So, but I just couldn't pass it up. I'm, I'm a sucker for a new model mag light. This is the ML25, Ontario, California. And I like that it's a twisty because you know, you've got when you turn it on you've got to adjust the beam anyway right so I like that and it's small enough and I, I don't have m big meat hooks fits in my hands got uh, a little bit of knurling right here so you, you, like all of them do but allows you to get a hold of it and turn it on with one hand so this is probably going to go in Clifford because right now Clifford has a one just like this in there so we're going to swap them out so that we have a smaller. No, I take that back. I've got an old light. Um, there's an old light in there. But anyway, that one's going to go in there because I'm a mag light freak. And I've got uh, C cell clips. And I'll take that clip and it'll actually sit in there. Uh, if you guys have seen the old blue truck walk around, you'll know what I'm talking about with the clip. Because I've got that LED. Uh, the gunmetal LED mag light clipped to the cab right behind the driver's seat. So anyway, that's it. Just a couple of new purchases and I wanted to share them with you and show you. Uh, this thing, this flip, I think it was a 50 cents or a buck or something like that at Goodwill. Uh, still in the box. So, but anyway, really digging this. And it's small enough. That if I'm out in the shop wearing my jeans, my baggy jeans, I can just toss it in the side carpenter's pocket and have it handy. Because I'm, I'm always needing a flashlight out there. Anyway, alright, that's it. I've babbled. Zip it later. I'm out.